so gone away is the boxiness of the Liberty and comes in the new sleek most superb design of the Cherokee it is aerodynamic and since it's aerodynamic it improves fuel economy this is the latitude latitude version and it carries a 3.2 liter V6 Pentastar engine which produces 271 horsepower and 239 foot-pounds of torque of course it's a 4x4 if you have a Jeep it needs to be a 4x4 it's not a true Jeep if it's not a 4x4 now the thing is there are Jeeps that are being sold as front-wheel drive and in my honest opinion, those are not true Jeeps. They are not true Jeeps. They're sold as 4x2s. Now let's take a look over here. See this front end? Of course you can tell it's slanted. The grill is slanted. Now, the reason behind this is because for the designers, they did the slantedness of this grill uh, for two reasons. One, this improves aerodynamics and improves fuel efficiency and second this harkens back to the original Cherokee which had a slanted grill in addition uh, there are slanted grills in the Jeep line um, if you take a look back at the Jeep Wrangler during the 90s they had a slanted grill the grill was slanted watch Jurassic Park the original Jurassic Park that Jeep Wrangler in the movie had a slanted grill. Even though it didn't improve fuel economy, but it had a slanted grill. Of course, this has good ground clearance. Now, existing in the Jeep line, of course, there's the Jeep Patriot, the Jeep Compass, this, the Jeep Cherokee, and lastly, the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This, you could say, is the mid-sized Jeep. It's not a compact Jeep. The Patriot and the Compass are compacts. They're small Jeeps. This is in the middle. This is a notch below the Jeep Cherokee. Now, there are four trim models with the Jeep Cherokee. Beginning is the base model, the sport model. Next is the Latitude, which is this. Uh, next one is the Trailhawk, which is the off-road version. And lastly is the Luxury version, Limited. That's the Limited version. Limited carries a lot of good stuff. Uh, carries leather interior, meaning leather seats, heated seats, uh, park assist, um, a backup camera, I believe it also carries a light underneath the rear view, uh, yeah, rear view mirrors. It also has blinkers on the rear view mirrors as well. And heated mirrors. Now there are two engine options. The 3.2 liter V6 and the 2.4 liter, no, yeah, 2.4 liter inline four cylinder engine. That's Tiger Shark. Now, the 2.4 liter produces about 184 horsepower and only 171 foot pounds of torque. Now, mind you, the 2.4 liter is a good engine. It really is a good engine. However, this Jeep is hefty, meaning it's quite heavy. And using a 2.4 liter engine, it's, it's, it's okay. It's a little bit sluggish, but if you want to go for acceleration and better performance, go with the V6. Now, these are the lights. This is the daytime running light. This is the actual headlight. And lastly, 
that's the fog light. Now the Trailhawk has tow hooks, which would be right here. And it would be at the end, or at the back, right here. The tow hooks would be at the back right over here. Now if you see a Jeep like this, if you see dual exhaust, that usually means it has a V6. If it only has one exhaust, that means it has the inline four, inline four cylinder engine. Latitude. This baby has active drive too, which you know is off-road capable. And in addition, uh, you know it. It uh, focus. There you go. In addition. It, uh, you know, it serves you well on your day-to-day -day commute to work. Now, can this Jeep go off-road? Yes, it can go off-road. But to start, you know, uh, only to a limit. If you want to go off-road, get the Trailhawk. The Cherokee Trailhawk. Let's look underneath. Now if you get the Trailhawk version, you get good skid plates underneath to protect your uh, vitals of the undercarriage. Now I'm going to be running a series called the Jeep Cherokee Diaries, much like my Dodge Stealth Diaries, in which I got to start doing again and up, uploading more videos of my Dodge Stealth but this Cherokee replaces the Dodge Stealth Now, Jeep fanatics will say this is not a real Jeep. It is a real Jeep. It is. Even though it looks funky on the front end, it's still a real Jeep. It's still off-road capable. Next video would be the interior of the Jeep Cherokee. And then after that, we'll take a look at the powertrain of the Jeep Cherokee. And uh, I'll be doing the Jeep Cherokee Diaries. So thanks for watching, guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this, including the Auto Showcase Project and video game walkthrough videos. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching. Rule of 47 of the Auto Showcase Project is out.